it's very likely that you're watching this video because you spotted something like this on the wall. That's not a problem, it's just a stain from the leak and it's sorted. But maybe you notice something like this on the wall. Or maybe you're sitting in a room with a living wall behind you because Mother Nature has taken it under her wings. Let's hope it's just a little spot of black mold. What? Black mold? Honey, I'm making video. Anyway, in this video I'd like to explain you everything about the black mold, moisture, condensation and dampness. And I hope you find it so useful that you won't allow even one spot of black mold form on your walls. But that's not quite possible. Just look outside. So why mold and damp are so common in homes across Britain? I found three reasons for this. The average annual number of rainy days in the UK is 160. Stop! 160 days of rain. Sounds not bad. So the remaining 205 are without rain. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that the weather was fantastic. The average temperature in the UK in 2021 was only 9.2 degrees Celsius. You know, 40 in July in Gibraltar and minus 10 in January in Scotland makes average 9.2 degrees Celsius or 48.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you add to this the age of the UK houses and how they were built in the past, then you have a ready receipt for disaster. Old houses were often built with inadequately fitted, if any, insulation at all. Also, a real damp proofing was not quite achievable. Over time, the houses become more airtight but sometimes poor workmanship resulted in a lack of proper ventilation, which often led to too much moisture and mold growth. And unfortunately, most of us has to live in a house that was built more than 50 years ago. And 50 years ago, our building regulations were way less demanding than now. For example, in 1965, a building regulations required loft insulation of U value of 1.4. Nowadays, you can achieve it by fitting only 2.8 cm thick wool insulation. Today's requirements are 0.13 and to achieve this you need to fit 25 to 27 cm thick insulation. So in effect we need 10 times as much insulation as 50 years ago. This was just a sample with the loft insulation. But the same story is with the doors, windows, wall insulation, roof. Obviously the old houses are more exposed for damp and mold. But it doesn't mean that damp and mold cannot happen or occur in a new, new houses. But don't worry if you live in an old house that is 50 years old or more, you can always improve it unless you live in something like this. Then the black mold is not an issue because you've got outstanding views and perfect ventilation. Damp and mold are serious problems and they always go together. Both damp and mold are caused by excess moisture in a building. So let's crack on the mold first. So what is black mold or toxic black mold? Black mold is a species of microfungus that loves a humid environment. Mold will grow in places with a lot of moisture, such as around leaks in roofs, windows, pipes or where there have been flooding. Mold grows well on the paper products, cardboard, ceiling ties, wood and also in the dust, paint, wallpaper, insulation, drywall, carpet, fabric and upholstery. In the right conditions, mold can begin to grow within as little as 24 to 48 hours. And over time, a small patch of mold can turn into a huge mold all over walls. Black mold can be dangerous. Molds produce allergens, irritants and toxic substances. Inhaling or touching mold spores may cause an allergic reaction such as sneezing, runny nose, red eyes and skin rash. Molds can also cause asthma attacks. Sounds pretty scary, isn't it? So how to get rid of a black mold? There are a lot of products in the shops that eliminate black mold. Actually, to remove mold from the walls or ceiling, you don't even need to buy an expensive chemicals. White vinegar will do the job. You can wipe the black mold off the wall easily, paint it over and all look good. But think about your health and your family. Everything looks fine now, but for how long? After all, this mold on the wall must have caused something. Mushrooms don't grow on the ceilings just like that. Mushrooms grow in the humid conditions in the forests, not in the deserts. To get rid of mold out of your home, you need to investigate the cause of its formation. Damp and mold are caused by excess moisture. Damp 
refers to the presence of excess moisture in a room or building. Moisture is a presence of a liquid, especially water. There are several ways of how moisture can get into the building and cause damp and black mold. Rain can get in through leaking roof, damaged flashing or cracked chimney, blocked or damaged gutters, cracked exterior wall or missing pointing between bricks. But that's not all. Poorly fitting doors and windows can cause moisture, felt appliances, leaks from interior pipes, as well as poorly sealed baths and showers. Moisture could get into the building through the soil. Ground water can rise up to the walls and floor if the damp proof course is damaged or missing. Hold on a second. But you check the bathroom, the loft, the basement, all the walls around the house. You checked uh, all the water pipes, there's no visible leak or damage. In fact, you live in a brand new house, but you still feel this kind of moisture in the air, or maybe you've got a mold on the walls. So then the problem might be condensation. Condensation damp is the most common type of damp, but at the same time is the easiest problem to fix and can be solved cheaply and quickly. You just have to change some of your behaviors, rules and pleasures. And I can add that 1 in 5 homes in the UK had the same problem, so you are not alone. Condensation is nothing but the process of changing the state of water, and more precisely water vapour into a water, liquid water. And this is a sample from Mother Nature. Warm water from the ocean evaporates to the atmosphere, forms a cloud, cools, loses its ability to contain water vapour, and then condensates and comes back to the earth as a rain. And the same phenomenon is happening in our homes every day. We take a bath, the hot water evaporates into air, form a big cloud in a bathroom and then condensate. But our bathroom is so small that there is no enough space and time to rain. So the water vapor quickly condensates on the coldest point, that is window, wall or mirror. We close the door, the ventilation is not working at all and all the steam that we created have to soak into the walls and God knows where else. That's how the moisture causes the damp and mold. But if you think that reducing your bath will solve the problem, you are sorely mistaken. Condensation damp in your home can be caused by many other things you do every day. And one of them is drying clothes indoor. Wet clothes. This is just terrible. Can you imagine that wet clothes from only one load of washing machine, drying indoors can add up to 5 liters of water to the air. Wet clothes are heavy, dry clothes are very light. Where is the water gone? Finally on the walls. Solution? Dry clothes outside and if that's not always possible, invest in a tumble dryer. Cooking. When you're cooking, you boil in liquids and you create steam that will 100% condensate in your home if your kitchen extractor fan is not working and this is around 3 liters of water in the air per day. Solution? Make sure that the extractor fan is working. Taking a shower or bath, we've sorted it earlier, and that's 1.5 liters per person per day. You can always reduce the time that you spend showering, and obviously fun with a timer in working condition might prevent the mold. Washing dishes under open tap can add about 1 liter into the air. The dishwasher might help, but if you open the door too early, you can add more moisture to the air than if you're washing dishes by hand. Using bottled or unfluid gas heaters can add even 1 liter of moisture per hour. Steam ironing or ironing damp clothes 1 liter per day. Plants. If you are a plant lover and you have a lot of plants, you can increase humidity in your home when you frequently water in them. Solution? Cactus. They need water in every two weeks, but some cactus species can go for two years without water. Breathing. This might sound a bit odd, but the average adult exhales about 300 milliliters of water per day. And this is just one man. A family of four can add an equivalent of 10 liters of water in the air just by breathing. When we finally sum up all of these pleasures that take place in our households every day, week and month, the results are that the average family of four produces up to 90 liters of water vapor per week or 13 liters every day. It all has to go somewhere and can end up as a condensation on the walls and ceiling unless the moisture filled air is expelled from the house. So if you seriously can't reduce any of these daily activities, maybe apart from breathing, and you still got the mold on the walls, I've got a solution for you. Fix the ventilation. 
All the extractor fans in the house has to be in a working condition. Also, you can move the furniture inch or two out of the walls, so then the air can circulate freely be, uh, behind them. Open the windows a couple of times daily for 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if it's cold outside. When you open the windows for 10 to 15 minutes, then the air from your house will exchange with the fresh air from outside. Also heat your home. Warm air can hold more moisture than the cold air. The warmer it is, then more moisture it can hold. Heat your rooms equally. If you heat just one room, then the condensation will form in the other rooms, the colder rooms. And there's one quite essential thing to have if you're dealing with the condensation. The humidifier. This thing is designed to extract water from the air and reduce humidity in your home to the level that you choose. The ideal relative humidity at home should be between 40 and 60%. Humidity over 60% can cause mold and damp. Humidity below 40% can cause dry skin, lips and hair, scratchy throats and noses. The humidifier will help to keep good level of humidity in your house. There is a downside as well. The humidifiers are not cheap to run. And for example, the weekly cost of energy consumption by 250 watts model is about 8 pounds, 8 pounds per week. 500 watts model, when run like 12 hours per day, weekly it costs 15 pounds. And 750 watts model, 12 hours a day for the week, 22 pounds. But my wife is crazy about this device. The winter months in our home pass with the soft rustle of the humidifier in the background. But trust me, it's worth to have it. Every day it collects about 3 liters of water from the air, plus this guy eliminates any unpleasant odors created by moisture in the air. It also improves overall air quality in the house. And finally, we came to the end of this video. Uh, I hope this was useful and helped you sort out the mold and damp problems in your house, if you've got any. Uh, there's one more thing before you start fighting with the mold I want to show you. Ta -da! The YouTube silver button, thanks to you. I want to say a big thanks to all of you guys, all 100,000 who subscribe to my channel, who watch my videos, and I promise that this video is not the last one in this year. I'm gonna make more, many more. <laughs> Thank you. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song You cannot save me Cause I don't need saving